Hi friends, welcome to Storytime. I am Lila Garza, the Library Coordinator from Tolleson Public Library. And today we're going to be doing some early literacy tips for older to toddlers and for preschool age children. So using nonfiction books with this age group is very, very fun because it helps us work on our vocabulary, which means that we're likely to use words that we don't use in normal conversation when we're reading nonfiction books. So I'm gonna show you some examples of some great nonfiction books to be reading with this age range. I'm gonna start with a book here called Dinosaur ABC. Kids love dinosaurs, right? Dinosaur ABC. Got this great variety of dinosaurs here from small to large. Some are flying. So as you can see, there is one dinosaur for each letter of the alphabet. But what I wanna point out about this book is it has these wonderful little illustrations here where it shows the size of the dinosaur compared to a normal adult human. And this mathematical concept is called scale. And that's a very important concept for preschoolers to be working with as they start working with math and as they're entering school. Scale is how big or small something is in comparison to something else. So a great way to be working on scale concepts are to be measuring your kid in relation to other things around them. So you can say, oh, the refrigerator is two or three of you, kid. Another really, really fun thing about this book here about dinosaurs is that they have these great little pronunciations on the bottom. So as you can see, it's kind of breaking down the syllables there into its phonetic spelling. So it's letting you know how to sound out the word. And working on sounding out the words is very, very important for preschoolers as they're getting ready to transition into learning how to read in kindergarten and in first grade. And that's something that you can be doing with them. You can be breaking down these big, kind of long, intimidating dinosaur words into words that you absolutely can be sounding up together. And that's gonna be a great confidence booster for them as well. To say, oh my God, you're able to read that big word with me. So like this one, for example, if we look at it here, it's gonna give you the phonetic spelling. Gra, vith, o, plus. Gravitholus, gravitholus. And you can be doing phonetic spelling and phonetic breakdown. So breaking down a large word into its smaller sounds, you can be doing that with any words that you're coming across. And that's a wonderful pre-literacy skill to be working on. Another really, really great thing about nonfiction books, again, is that you're gonna be using words in your descriptions and in reading the text that you're not usually using in normal conversation. So the iguanodon here, you can see it has a sharp toothless beak, right? So beak, spike, looks like it has a spike on its thumb. This dinosaur has a very, 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 very long neck you can be asking them questions like, why do you think it would need a neck that long? What do you think it does with a neck that long? I wonder what it eats, giving them clues, right? To be exploring those kinds of concepts about animal habitats. Ooh, look at this one. How do we pronounce this one? Leptoceratops. 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 as a head crest. Crest, again, is a word that you probably won't be using too much in normal conversation. Talking about what it might be using its sharp kind of beak for, what it might be eating. So nonfiction books are a really great way to be exploring concepts. Another really great example of a book that you can be using to talk about scale and to talk about animals 
It's called Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. And there are a lot of Steve Jenkins books currently available in Hoopla Digital. They're very, very popular with preschool aged children. So as you can see, we've got this really, really big hand here on the front. I wonder what animal that belongs to. Let's find out. Ooh, it's a gorilla hand. And all the photographs in here are to scale, which means that it's really, really showing you how large and how small these animals are. This would of course be great to be putting up your own hand to compare the size, right? This would be my hand scaled to a gorilla size. Wow. And we've got that little, little pygmy lemur that we see on the front. The pygmy mouse lemur. Can we talking about its big eyes? What do you think it needs big eyes for? I wonder if it comes out in the day or the night. Ooh, shark teeth. Look at all those shark teeth. Be using your fingers to trace, trace the lines in teeth. Counting the teeth. Ooh, oh my goodness, look how big that spider is. That is the Goliath bird eater tarantula and is, is big enough to catch and eat birds and small mammals. Would you be scared if you saw a spider that big? I bet you would. I would. I would go, oh no. Ooh, <gasps> this animal has a two foot long tongue. This is a giant anteater snacking on termites. You can count the termites. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. This anteater is eating four termites. Can you be sticking out your tongues? playing fun little games like that. Ooh, the Alaskan brown bear is the largest meat eating animal that lives on land. 13 feet, 1700 pounds. Look how big that head is. I'm gonna put it next to my head, see? The scale. And again, Steve Junkins does have quite a few books available in Hoopla Digital right now. He does really excellent nonfiction work for, um, for older toddlers and young preschoolers that they find very engaging. <gasps> Look at this Siberian tiger. Oh my goodness. It's the biggest of the big cats. Ooh, look, the Goliath beetle there. It's the world's heaviest insect. And a giant walking stick. It's the world's largest insect. Look how big. Wow. Wow. 22 inches. That's huge. It's a huge insect. This foot belongs to the largest land animal, the African elephant. Look at that foot. Oh my goodness. How big are your feet? Not that big, huh? So these are two excellent examples of using nonfiction books with older toddlers and with younger preschool age children to be introducing them to some new vocabulary words. Um, talking about animals' bodies, kind of their characteristics asking them open-ended questions. Why do you think that they have a body like that? What do you think they eat? Where do you think they live? Um, learning more about them. There are some wonderful nature documentaries on Canopy, which is one of our streaming platforms. They have a really great 3D documentary right now called Dinosaurs Alive. I will put a link to that in the comments to this video and a link to uh, the page with uh, Steve Jenkins books on Hoopla Digital. So again, this is Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. It's a great way to be talking about scale. And again, scale is how big or, large, big or small something is in relation to something else. So kids using their own bodies and their own kind of body parts like hands and feet uh, to measure is a really great scale. And dinosaur ABC, which is a wonderful example, again, of this wonderful little thing called phonetic spelling, where it's letting you know how to sound out the word. So in this case, hadrosaurus, hadrosaurus. And you can be using phonetic spelling to really be breaking down how to sound out any large word with them. 
I hope that you enjoyed story time and I hope that you are well and we will see you again here next week. Thanks. Bye.